Hi everyone, uh, my name is Timmy Tope Olas Monor. I'm a lawyer, a Nigerian living and working in Nigeria, practicing in Lagos, Nigeria. And you're welcome to my channel, Law, Lifestyle and the Basics. Yes, so I'll be sharing stuff about, you know, free legal advice. Everybody, almost everyone I know, you know, seems to like free legal advice from lawyers and, you know, you'll be getting a lot of that and a few rants about some um, things that are legal and illegal going on in Nigeria. Um, currently courts are on vacation and we all know what's going on in Nigeria, right? The prices of things have increased. I stay somewhere around um, somewhere around Ikeja Mafuluku Axis and I decided to come to my parents' house because you cannot come and die and so I'm on vacation staycation actually so um today i like to talk about something um I, I learned in church and it's um i know this is a vlog about you know law lifestyle and the basics so expect a computation of these things you know um according to the constitution especially chapter four is something that um i i queried and i was I found quite turbulent in my heart for a while. I was pretty frustrated. I remember when I was younger, my brothers and I, you know, we didn't even have to be involved in political conversations to get distressed about governance. So we would laugh when, you know, candidates would read their manifestos and they'd be like, they'll um, do good roads for us and stuff like that. And then I, my brothers and I will be like, okay, you want to do good roads. It's just like saying you get a job and people ask you, what are you going to do? You're, you're like, I'm going to come to work every day. Before on call, you'll come to work. So that used to be my stance. And I used to get, you know, worked up, you know, about governance. But yesterday, things took a different perspective for me. I just realized that just like in um, the cases of children at the orphanage, it gets to an age the legal age of 18 and above where they are no longer capable or rather they are beyond they are past the age of being adopted that's for children who are living in the orphanage they no longer are put up for adoption i want us to see ourselves in times like this that that's what it is really with the government i decided to really look inwards and let's look around uh, I just realized that the government is just really an administrator. Yes, chapter 4 of the constitution. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a conversant for the government because I was going to start a narration by saying when I got to church yesterday, something happened. But I think I should come to that later by establishing the foundation of the law and all of that. The expectations we've had from the government for so long. Okay, so probably we have reached our legal age of age 18, to, you know, so to speak. And it's time for us to, you know, break the bonds. Of course, I don't mean civil disobedience. I don't mean any of that. I'm just saying probably it's it's time to be weaned off from so much dependence on like foreign countries where people get, uh, you know, uh, people, uh, people who are not uh, capable of fending themselves uh, economically well enough. They get paid some certain amounts. Your but my mom would say oh baba and all of that. But we don't get that in Nigeria just yet. So probably it's time to 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 be weaned off these expectations. Probably it's time to stop looking at the government and look at the government as an administrator. Um, uh, as an administrator, like you you for example, in a company, you have the board of directors and all of that. You have shareholders. Yes, technically in Nigeria we're supposed to be the shareholders, right? But let's let let's migrate from that shareholders mindset that we want the cake. Uh, you know, we want a share of the national cake. Let's start to look at it. We're employees in this nation, quite alright. You know, just like we're employees in 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 an probably like a business place, a workplace. The shareholders or the board of directors are just to administrate over the affairs while the employee gets to work. And that's what I, I would advise us to do in times like this. You know, the speaker in church yesterday is an accountant and he was just 
talking about financial freedom and very apt and this topic actually was in times like this and i realized that what this guy is saying is really correct he said something he said difficult situations sometimes bring out the best in you like i was just boiling a piece of egg yesterday night and you know when you look at it an egg when it's put in water that's the right condition for it to become useful or anything and if you're going to fry it it's going to need a bit of it so probably this is the time for us to you know what break free from that mentality of expecting the government to do you know things for us and let's just start to think outside the box of where we've constrained ourselves for so long in my church excitedly yesterday um the um the we had a session where we had four classes you had people doing you know making soap i think i'm going to show you that soap because i got a big jar and i'm like wow a big jar of soap uh of liquid soap actually and you know to some children learn music um that's i think i think that our children should start learning skills as early as they can and some people learned media. I joined the media class because, of course, I really wanted to start uh, or I've been, it's been impressed with my heart to start a YouTube channel. You know, I used to have, um, during COVID, where, uh, by God's grace, you know, I would lecture people on law because I believe that, yes, Nigeria may not be it yet, but I believe that we need to be a country where we know our rights, you know, um, when you know your rights there's little bullying that anybody can do to you i think we, are, we should advance to that stage that's that's a discussion for another day so i joined the media because of my videos going forward and all of that i i really want to get back into that space of getting in touch with the citizenry and you know doing my bit one way or the other as a lawyer it doesn't have to just be in the courtroom and so um, i joined the media there was also the fashion design department and all of that so uh he said something the speaker also said that we should uh how did he put it commercialize our talents so for example we have a saxophonist in church and we know that sometimes when people are celebrating occasions you, you know, the saxophonist is very much needed you know birthday surprises and all of that and people that are very great speakers can you know take on the job of being um and we like celebrations in this country you, 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 if you speak well you could be an MC so it's I think it's time to get wind of the government basically that's what I'm saying and I'm a Christian and you know when I said law lifestyle and the basics lifestyle for me is godly basics for me is you know godly as well and I'm so glad that my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ says something in what's popularly called the Lord's Prayer but actually is a formula for us to pray like you have the time stable. The Lord's Prayer is a formula of what you should pray for in strategic um, uh, a strategic manner. And so he said give us this day our daily bread and nowhere did scripture include the fact that it's dependent on the government. No, nowhere nowhere every in the cap capitalist economy people that ever broke out and were ever anything just look at them from Mark Zuckerberg to far back you know in history the millionaires the Ibuka Woshikas we have today you know the people who are doing so much with their talent I'm sorry I, I can't make a full list right now but I'm sure you, there's someone who resonates with you you know they're not getting authorization from the government look at our media for example or rather look at the social media look uh, uh, what they call them influencers are thriving on their natural talent so it's, it's high time we got wind from the government for 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 me it's high time i just dump that saying you know aversion personal uh, personal dis uh, distrust or mistrust i have for chapter four of our constitution that says the government is not bound to do these things the government is just it's just you know it's it's what should be on their plate but they are not bound it's, it's high time we got wind off and i think we're going to come out better for it what do you think so welcome to my vlog do like and subscribe you're going to be getting all the free legal insights that um, nigerians like to get and the world over i was just going to be discussing things and you're going to hear me talk about some things like i said in the beginning that i don't feel all right you know so it's going to be a bit of a rant but with a balance and then we're going to talk about i love um the working sector working places i i love to talk about what should be right under the labor act what should be implemented so please join me on my journey to so take care via Take me to for once again. Bye.